Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to quickly create a 3D shadow inside Illustrator Creative Cloud. And uh, let's get started. The final effect that we're looking for is exactly what we're seeing on screen right now. So let's do that real quick. And as you can see, it appears as if there was a light source on the left top corner of the screen. And it's as a result is casting a shadow this way. As you can see okay so let's do it um, first I'm gonna get rid of what I have already so essentially what I'm gonna do I uh, just selected my 2d graphic which is this red graphic not including the white strokes inside the graphic so let's do a copy create a copy command C command B to paste uh, in place behind the graphic. Now we're going to go to Effect, Distort and Transform, Transform. Now let's select the values, which I already know. I'm using 0 0.02 inches, 0 0.02 inches for horizontal and vertical. Three copies, select OK. And now I'll select the darker red, and that's just to create the body of the graphic. As you can see right here. And that is just to give it volume to make it more believable that it can cast a shadow. Now what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna copy this exact same graphic. Delete copy, command B. I'm going to go to Appearance, Transform, and right now we're going to have, let's say, 50 copies, maybe 60. Click OK. Now for this one and the previous one, actually for this one, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go to Object. Do something else before. So now that I have this, I'm going to go to Object, Spin Appearance. Then I'm going to go to the Pathfinder. Now, to make it easier on the machine, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to Object, Path, Simplify, select 95%, 98% is fine. Then we'll click on Preview. And as you can see, we went from originally 275 points to 48 points. That'll make it easy on any computer. Now that we have this, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the color of the shadow, which in this case is more of a blue grayish gradient. I'm going to select the angle of the gradient, something like this. And that's it, guys. That's how quickly we can come up with a 3D shadow that looks more like a re more like real shadows as opposed to trap shadows. Trap shadows are good, but do not um, are not the answer for everything. And this is just another another trick, another way to just give it a different uh, look to your videos. Well, guys, I hope you loved it. If you liked the video, make sure to leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel, and see you next time.